Hello everyone, I am Deepak Nyal and I welcome you to the series of C++ tutorials. In previous tutorials, we discussed about uh, access specifiers, data heading and data abstraction concepts. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn about constructors. So let us uh, see this example. And let me comment this thing first. Here you have created an object and now you are displaying course name, right? So just run this example first and then we'll talk about constructors g plus plus and data abstraction and you can see the course name is nothing right and there is also no error means course name is something which is blank or empty right it happens because here in this case when you assigned or when you declared a variable course its value is nothing in the beginning or it's empty by default right so what happens if you want to provide a course name when you create a gradebook object so each class you declare can provide a constructor that can be used to initialize an object of the class when the object is created so it means whenever you are creating some object here the constructor can be called and you can assign a value to this course right so what is a constructor? Let us understand it first. See this example. You can see many of the wall clocks, right? And one of the similarities between them is most of the wall clocks uh, are showing time 10, 10, right? So you can you can think it up like a class which is producing a lot of objects, right? Real life entities or these objects are wall clocks and every object is being initialized from the same state so it's uh, time which is 10 and 10 right so we can also perform this thing in our examples and that task is uh, being done by constructor which initializes each object when it's being created right so let us understand it So what is a constructor? Constructor is a special member function. So it is just a member function, but it has some differences, right? So what are the differences? It's a name, which is same as class name. So that compiler can distinguish between other functions and this constructor. There are some features of this constructor and one of them is it cannot return any values also it cannot specify a return type neither it can return a value neither it can specify a return type and when we are talking about no return type it means void is also included in that so it cannot uh, even return or specify void return type and one more thing when we talk about constructors we have seen that when we are declaring data members they are private and when we are declaring functions that they, they are generally public right but in case of constructor it also it is also declared public we'll try to make it private and then we'll see what uh, sense it makes or whether it provides some error or not right so another thing the constructor call occurs implicitly when the object is created so when you are writing gradebook and gb as soon as you write this statement object is created here at this point of time and if a class explicitly includes a constructor then it is fine if it does not then a default constructor is always there So default constructor in case there is no explicit constructor right so it doesn't mean that if you have uh, defined explicit constructor then there is a default constructor also it is not so so if you have an explicit constructor and you want to 
make a default constructor also then you have to declare that explicitly with no arguments then that will be called default constructor so you must have understood that a constructor is called at this place when an object is created right so there are two ways of uh, providing a default constructor for a class so one that uh, a compiler creates by default so such a constructor does not initialize the class data member but it does call the default constructor for each data member that's an object of another class it means if you have a constructor of a class right default constructor and this has been called on object which has some other objects also right it could have some other objects of another class so this constructor will call constructor of these objects also right if it is default and in case of this default constructor if uh, some variable are uninitialized they are general, generally assigned some garbage values generally we uh, can't say it for sure because that depends on the data type also but uh, generally uninitialized variables are assigned some garbage values and another kind of default constructor is that you need to define another constructor with no arguments right so such a constructor is called for each data member that is an object of another class and it, it will also perform some additional in initialization that are specified by you right we'll understand all this through an example but uh, so when we are talking about constructor it has a default constructor and another has parameterized constructor so it means default can be explicit that you are defining and one could be implicit that is defined by the compiler and another is parameterized you can pass some parameters so I hope you understood uh, this thing let us understand it through an example just remove this thing right copy this whole program default constructor dot cpp and parameter right constructor dot cpp now we have created two files and uh, let us do one thing copy this whole thing here remove this also remove this right or oh, let us do one thing copy this whole thing here and we'll uh, try these examples in next lecture because I think this lecture will be very lengthy so first revise the concepts and then come back to this lecture right okay so I think uh, this uh, this theory part is enough for this lecture in the next lecture I'm going to cover all the uh, coding details and uh, we'll code for default constructor and parameterized constructor if you like this tutorial please like the video share it with your friends and write your doubts in the comment I will surely respond back so we'll meet in the next lecture till that time thank you so much